الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear students of summer school let's recite درود and سلام upon the beloved and blessed prophet صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Excellence of reciting درود and salam upon the beloved and blessed Prophet صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم When a believing Muslim conveys 1,000 times salutations upon the beloved and blessed Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He will not die until he sees his placement in paradise So when the angel of death approaches you to take your soul Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal if you are habitual of reciting Durud and Salam, then inshallah Azza wa Jal, you will see your maqam in paradise. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ji Isa, take a seat. Welcome back to summer school, my dear students. Alhamdulillah, very important information I'll be sharing with you. These are just experiments that we are going to do to educate ourselves the research that we have made online maybe it's 100 percent true maybe it's 50 percent true okay but you can do these experiments at home as well okay now physically we're gonna inshallah azza wa jal we're gonna look at some products and in them products we're gonna look at uh, the amount of caffeine that product will have the amount of sugar levels that product will have and sometimes you just see a, a, a product like a drink a fizzy drink and when you drink that drink you don't realize what it contains inside inshallah physically you'll be able to experiment like mashallah you've been doing at schools you know when you do a bit of science class you do experiments don't you so it's going to be something like this as well okay and we need to do this we need to educate ourselves because people are buying products from the shop not realizing it's dangerous for you right and this is why i've got this chart i don't have everything on this chart but inshallah uh, let's make a start but before i'm going to make a start i just like to request the students inshallah to make a special dua just a few days before there was an incident that took place in leicestershire where a house got burnt down and the cause of the fire, we are, the, the police is still investigating. But what we think it might be, what caused it, was maybe an adapter. Maybe a battery. Yeah? So I'm going to share some information just before I start this, the experiments that I was going to do. But I want to educate you on this aspect of things as well. Which is very important. Because we shouldn't be playing with electrics. And uh, a lot of you demand your parents for one of them electric bikes as well. What do you call them? E-scooters. E yeah. And sometimes the, what happens with the e-scooters, the adapters, they go faulty. And we end up ordering adapters online, either from eBay. And then what happens is, them adapters are not UK certified. You can't be using them in the UK. But they get important somehow. And, you know, and they are dangerous. They can kill someone as well. So, let's share some information regarding these adapters. I managed to go into my shed. I managed to find some adapters, which uh, I don't hardly use at all. Um, you see, this is a chunky adapter, you can see, yeah? It's quite a huge adapter. Now, here, on this adapter, it's got some information on there, but still, still says made in China. But the quality of this adapter seems to be genuine. Right? And it says CE approved. 
See, it's been checked basically. You can use this in the UK. Right? Now, on these adapters, there's voltages on there. Now, this adapter, if I write on the board for you guys, 12 volt is the output. Okay? And then you've got the milliamps on this as well. So, which is 1200 M A. Okay? This is the output. Now, if you've got a router at home, this is your router. There's a label on your router that takes a power pin here. And it'll tell you on that power pin that this, it requires this amount of adapter. So 12 volt, yeah, 500 MA. So what do you see in the difference of that and that? The difference is with the MA, because the, um, because the top one's 1200 and the bottom one's only 500. Correct. Yeah, so that's correct. So you see a difference between 500 and 1200. Now, for example, if you had CCTV cameras, right? I just saw CCTV cameras and they had, you had these in your premises, yeah? Now this can cause a fire as well. If you're using a 500 and you need about 2000 milliamps to get four, four cameras on, right? It's going to put a load on the adapter. Yeah? This adapter won't be appropriate for four cameras. It has to be 2000, 2000 MA plus 12 volt. Do you see what will cause the fire? This will get hotter and it'll, it'll explode as well. Now, I don't know if you can see the material on this one looks more cheaper than this one. Yeah, I'll give you a feel of this. Yeah. And the pins on these easily break as well. They start bending from there. Yeah. Now, here it's very light compared to this. It's very light. Who wants to wear this? Gee, what can you tell me about it? So, what do you feel? So this one is a bit heavier and this one is a bit lighter and feels more cheaper. Yes. Okay. Gee. This Almost. feels huh? very lighter than this one because this one feels heavier than this one. Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah, it's very light, isn't it? Even the students can see this. I'll probably put it on the scale as well to show you what the way of this is. And what the way of this is. This has got more capacitors, more stuff in this to safeguard you. And this is cheap. Yeah? I can even throw it. <laughs> That's how cheap it is. And this is very heavy. It's like a heavy ball this is. Right. So here it says made in China. Right? And it says it's 42 VDC and 2 amp. Yeah? So 42 volts. This is for an e-scooter. Yeah? So... E-scooters will have different amperages as well. But online, you're going to get different voltages. Even if you got a meter on this, you are not going to get the right voltages out. Right? It's going to give you a 24 volt, 25 volt. It won't be 100%. And this is the cause of your bike being exploded. You know the battery in your bike, the one that you ride? They get exploded and cause the house fire. Yeah? So this is what happened. One of these adapters were plugged in all night and something got hot exploded caused a fire and it could have taken lives and there have been incidents in london i've heard in bradford area where e-scooters have blown up and caused a house fire and people have died so just to make you aware be careful educate yourself on adapters yeah i want everybody to feel this i'm going to put it all the way around some of feel look how light it is this is not appropriate to use in the UK. Yeah? And we're buying these adapters and we're plugging and we're charging our stuff with it. And same again with lighting as well. You might get European lighting coming into your house. Sometimes we celebrate Milad Sharif, Eid parties, etc. And the wiring is very thin. Have you seen how thin the wiring is? Very thin, isn't it? Yeah. And it doesn't even have a fuse. It's got one of them two pin plugs. Right? And they plug it into the, the mains. And that causes a big fire as well. If that touches, it can electrocute you and you can die as well. Yeah? 
So this was a different topic. You know, it's a, it's a long topic to go through. And very quickly, I'm just going to demonstrate because if you go in a European country, you've got to be careful. I'm using a plug as well. You first switch off the socket, and I'm going to show you how you plug these in. Yeah. Okay, you see the plug, yeah? Now, some plugs, they're very old. You might get silver all the way down. For your safety, for children as well, they put these black bits there, the plastic. Because what you guys do when you plug in, you hold like this. Your fingers are inside, your little tiny fingers, even baby's fingers are like this, when they plug in it in. And this could cause death as well. The way you should be holding a plug is like this. Yeah, make sure the switch is off. Then you plug it in, okay? And don't go near it, because there could be a fault in there. And then just turn the switch on, and it's on, yeah? Once you finish with it, turn it off. Don't leave it on. A lot of our uh, televisions, uh, electronics, they stay on all night. They could cause a fire. If you're not using it, turn it off, yeah? From the mains, even if you want to take the plug off, you can, just to be on the safe side. Look, I'm going to wear this, the big adapter that you saw, right, in grams, look. So let's see, it's 420 grams, 421, yeah, if you can use zoom in there, can you see? That's your genuine adapter, yeah, which is more safer to use. So now I'm going to put the cheap Chinese version adapter on there, right, which only weighs 70, 79 grams. So you can see a big difference. But you have to be very careful. Okay? Guys, we're coming to the, the experiments now. This was the, the main subject that we were going to discuss. A lot of you have this. Whenever you go to a takeaway, you want a can of Coke, you want Pepsi. Now, I'm not having a go out with the company. They're going to do, to, they're going to do whatever to make the money. But you need to know what's in these things. So to control your habit, because what it was is when I attended... Jamia in Bradford, our ustad, our teacher, would tell us this product gets packed in a different country and it takes weeks and months to get into the UK. You don't know how long that's been there for. If you get a, a bottle of water, right, and you leave it in the bottle for a month, doesn't that water start smelling a bit? Yeah, yeah. Because you've got chemicals in there. Right, you can't really tell if the water's gone off or not. It might be a hot country, even in plastic. They say, Look, if there's water in a plastic bottle and it's in a car and it heats up, it can cause cancer as well. Yeah, so even warming your stuff in plastic in microwaves, you have to be very careful as well. But that's a different topic, okay? But what I'm saying is, we're going to measure the amount of sugar this has, right, and the amount of caffeine it has. Yeah, so. We'll quickly go to the first point. One liter bottle contains 108 grams of sugar and caffeine, 96 milligrams of caffeine in there. Okay, so we're going to see if we can... Uh, it says 96 milligrams of caffeine in a Coca-Cola bottle. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert that into grams. Okay, so one of the students is going to put at least one gram in there. Estimate one or two grams, that's approximately what it is. Okay, so if you put it in and weigh it, yeah, so that's one spoon. Okay. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's enough. Okay, so we've got about two grams there, just ab above one gram, okay, which comes about two grams. So this is the amount of caffeine that you'll have in a Coke bottle. And what I'm trying to say is that caffeine for children, even elders, buzurbs, <clears throat> as you can see, now you probably see a lot of people who are quite ob obesity, right? They're quite fat, right? They have um, poor blood sugar control. They become diabetic. Because the amount of sugar a Coke bottle might contain. Diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and heart disease. Now, the research we've just heard that with a Coke bottle, you can even clean pans with it. 
It's like, it acts like a bleach as well. You, if you put your tooth in there for a day, what happens to your tooth? It turns black. So, Isa, take a look at the caffeine, which we've uh, measured. What do you think that is that good for you? No. Okay. What do you think it causes? What, what do you think it does to you? It gives you the uh, illnesses, that's what I would say. Okay, it keeps you awake as well for 12 hours. Do you know that? Oh my God. It disrupts your nervous system, your nerves, to just to keep you that, give that awakeness. Yeah? And you might not be able to sleep at night with it. So if you had this late night, you may not be able to sleep. Because caffeine keeps you awake. It doesn't let you sleep. And too much of this can cause a heart attack. Yeah, I didn't know it could raise a heart attack. So there's a certain amount that adults can take this. If too much is taken, then the, the heartbeat, the rhythmatic of the heartbeat can change. Like yeah? Because the body might not like it. Okay, now we're going to do a sugar test on the Coca-Cola bottle, how much sugar it contains. So, Ahmed, if you pour in 108 grams of sugar in there, very slowly, okay? Get up to 108 grams, if you can. Ahmed has poured about 108 grams of sugar. He's got 109 now. 108 grams of sugar. Look how much sugar one each Coke bottle has. Quite a huge amount of sugar. Look at the sugar. This is what is in a Coke bottle. Would you eat all that sugar? Just like that? No. No. But you're drinking the Coke bottle. G, go ahead. Uh, I would probably not eat this much sugar because it's not good for our immune system. Yeah, but look at it. Are you, are you not shocked how much sugar a Coke bottle has? Did you know it had that amount of sugar in there? No. No. The next experiment we're going to do is on the prime. Okay. I know it looks very colorful. A lot of our students are buying this product, right? Demanding the, the parents, please, I want to get a prime bottle. I want to drink it. Yeah, it makes me feel good. But you don't know what it contains. It says it's not suitable for children. So why are you buying this product? Right? It's got high level of caffeine in there. Right? 51 grams in the Red Bull. Yeah? And in this is 200 milligrams. And it's got 0 0.45 tablespoons of sugar. And manufactured citric acid is not natural at all. You can get kidney failure with this. It affects sleep patterns, yeah? High blood pressure and digestive issues with this. This prime bottle that you're drinking. Okay. So very quickly, I'm going to tell you, it's not suitable for under age 18. It's not suitable at all. Because it's got caffeine in it. Did you know that? Yeah. You didn't know that, did you? So I have to take the mic off. Right? That's how much one can has. Show it to the people. Yeah? Keep your uh, thingy. So Prime has that amount of caffeine in it. Okay? Yeah. Now let's do the sugar test with it. I'm going to do the sugar test. Okay. Now Prime, they mentions that they've got two grams of sugar in there. So that's the amount of sugar you get inside it. Right? There's still a lot of sugar. You probably won't think it's not a lot of sugar. But the amount of sweetness, they might be using different types of sweetness in there. Because the amount of fruit sweetness you get, different flavors you get in, they're using some kind of sweetness in there. And it's not mentioned in the bottle at all. But if you do some research on the internet, children are not allowed to drink prime drinks. Okay? The next experiment we're doing is the Capri, okay, the orange. You get a box of 12 of these or 10 when you're buying it in the market. Now, there's a lot of sugar in this. 
And even if you have to go to school, taking one of these, school we won't allow it. They know it's a health hazard. You shouldn't be bringing diluted drinks into the school. They tell you to drink water bottles in. Yeah, even my child, if I were to give him that, send him to school with it, they say, no, take it back, bring a water bottle. Yeah, even teachers at school know that this is not good for your health. Right, here it says 4.4 grams, right, or 4.5 grams of sugar in there. Yeah, so 4.4 grams and 14.5 grams. That's what it says. Put 14.5 grams in there. Okay, go ahead. Big spoons. Bye, guys. That's six grams, eleven grams. Okay, that's fine. That's enough. So, this amount, this sugar, will not even go into your tea, right? This is quite a lot of sugar. There's about four or five teaspoons of sugar there. And that's what you're getting in one of these drinks. Quite a high amount of sugar. And could it be because of these fizzy drinks, you're hyperactive. You got that energy, right? You like to mess about a lot. Yeah, because it might have some chemicals in there, right? This is concentrate drink. It's not oranges what you see on there, right? It looks like there's oranges. You're thinking you're drinking something healthy. You'd rather go and get some oranges and get a juicer machine and get some fresh oranges out like that if you want orange juice. But the way the image is showing you, they've just put sugar in there and diluted a bit of orange in there. Whether it's original orange or whether it's diluted of something, it's not 100% orange juice. Yeah? Yes, they're making a lot of money. One pound, nine pence on this. Yeah? And they've written the calories on there, what you'll get. It's because you're taking a lot of intake of sugar. And you know, this will affect you when you get older. You have a question, right? Okay. They've got these other like short ones that only have 1.3 grams so, um, of sugar. Um, so, um, are those ones okay for us? Not really, because everything has sugar in it. Your bread, whatever you're taking intake, your, you know, your, your fruits, you're getting natural sugar. But this is like cane sugar. Couldn't be harmful if you have a lot of uh, cane sugar. You want natural sugars. You know what's in your fruits, your bananas. Your body's already getting it. Why do you want to top it with sugars? We should be drinking uh, our tea, other things with pure honey. Right? Pure honey is good for you. Instead of using sugar, use pure honey. Okay. Um, the... Capri Sun, it has a uh, loads of and loads of sugar. They're just uh, trying to scam you, and plus you can uh, they just waste money. Plus you can make your own orange juice at home with pure oranges instead of buying this. Yeah, that's what I've just told you. Yeah, that's right, Mashallah. Another thing that we buy from the market is chocolate biscuits. Yeah, we love chocolate biscuits, right? And you know, for people who want want to lose weight. They will not be able to lose weight if you eat one of these every day, right? The amount of sugar these have, right, is quite a lot, which each uh, that contains. So, what I can see here, it's got 4.4 grams of sugar. It's the same amount what I've just shown you, right? Similar amount. It's got quite a lot of sugar in there in each biscuit, right? And this is the whole purpose. When we're taking a lot of intake of sugar, our fat doesn't burn then. Because our body's just fighting the sugar off. Yeah? So these chocolates that you're having on a regular basis, look at the sugar content. It's got like an advisory thing on there. It tells you what it's got inside it. Yeah? The more, in, you know, the less intake you can take in sugar, the more healthy you'll stay. Now, people have gone on syringes. They've gone on these tablets just to reduce their sugar levels. And they have to go on them for life. Yeah? No one should be going on medication. If you use natural honey, Pure honey, which on the market, you won't be able to buy pure honey. The only place you're going to get honey from, pure honey, is Pakistan. Or, you know, some hot countries uh, like Morocco, uh, certain places that do pure honey from mountain honey. But you won't be able to get it here. Here they put sugar in the honey as well. If you leave honey, they said the way you can uh, identify honey, it has a bubble at the bottom. Right? When you turn it, 
that bubble goes slowly up. Right? And if it's, if it's not 100% natural honey, what will happen is when you turn it, that bubble will go up in within seconds. So there'll be a bubble under, under the bottle, it'll go up in within seconds. If it goes slowly, that's pure honey. Okay? That's some, that's some advice that you can work out how pure honey is. Yeah? So it'll give you, it'll fix any problems with the immune system, honey does. Right? And it's obvious from bees and plants. Yeah? Honey is amazing. Cures uh, a lot of illness as well, like flu and things like that. So I think we're coming to the end of our experiment. Yeah? Because of time shortage, we couldn't really do everything. The last one was for a vape pen. Yeah? This contains a high level of sugars in there as well. Now I came across a person. Maybe if I can ring him, if I get through to him, we can do a, a voice call with him. And he'll tell me his story, what he uh, came across. Sallu al Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala la Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Okay, I'm making this call. And let's see if we can get through uh, to this brother. The story he told me about his brother-in-law taking excessive amount of vape pen, the amount of sugar levels he had, right, in that vape pen, which caused for him to lose all, he all his teeth. Yeah? So he had to go to Turkey. He had to go to Turkey. Um, <clears throat> yeah, he had to go to Turkey to get dentures in there. So he had to put fake teeth on there because he lost all his teeth. Yeah? I, I would have preferred it if he told you the story himself so that you learn from this as well. That these chemicals that they have in the vape pens, which we did in the, the first video we did, we've already been through it. But this is something I want to tell you. That even these, they have very high sugar levels as well in the vape pens. And what happens is if you smoke it, you lose your teeth as well. They get decayed and, um, you know, the amount of sweetness it has. Yeah? So we have to be careful of these products as well. Okay. Sallu al Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa Any questions before we go? You've learned something today? Yes. MashaAllah. Yep, these drinks are bad guys. Stick to water, like I said. Don't go near drinks, fizzy drinks. They're bad for you. Okay. Drink milk, yeah? Pure milk, organic milk. Yeah? And uh, stick to water. These, these are your best options. You know, Allah has given you water. We're mixing stuff in the water, really, to make, it, to make money from people. I don't know why. Companies are making money from it. Yes, we feel like we urge it. It's in our desire that we want to have a fizzy drink, a cold drink. Yeah, but it's bad for you. And stick to normal water. Don't drink cold waters either. Ice cream is bad for you as well. When, when you, because your body's a warm, you're warm blooded inside. Yeah, you should be taking warm water in, not cold water. And we like taking cold waters in as well. Yeah, this will give you a bad cold. It'll give you a bad sore throat as well. Yeah, people get tonsillitis, all these, and then you have to go for an operation at the hospital to take these tonsillitis out. Okay. Uh, you're not supposed to have any added sugars in your diet. You're actually only supposed to have natural sugars. Um, so, so yeah. any added sugars are bad for you. Correct.